give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. It's a So So heaven worshiping the shadow shadow. Can you just lift the voice so he is still I the power of your name is shadow. Jesse is your name. Mighty man in battle. A changeable changer. The beginning and the end. You have no beginning and you have no end. The bread of life, the hope of life, the king of glory. Emmanuel. Prince of peace. The wonderful. The beautiful, the glorious, the powerful, the mighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for first day of January to the last day of January. Thank you for first day of February. the first Sunday of February 2021 glory on on power majesty be on glory on on power majesty In glory, honor, and power, majesty. Amen. 
Lord, I give you my Lord, I give you my soul. Lord, I live for you. Hello. Every step the right. Every moment of my way. to roll on the ground just give him worship make your voice louder within five minutes open your mouth let heaven begin to shake begin to worship him now shakata palikata timiba yira nile yira nile yira nile timiba yira nile koto Oh, Baba, to me, Baba, you love me, love me, you love me, you love me, to me, Baba, you love me, love me, go to me, oh, oh, Baba, to me, Baba, you love me, love me, you love me, you love me. You to lift the voice to him. I want you to bow before his feet this morning. Begin to open your mouth, worship him this morning. If you want to roll on the ground, roll on the ground. I don't just know why. God said, Let them worship me, let them bow at my feet, let them let them glorify me this morning, let them worship me this morning, let them worship me this morning. Open your mouth and worship him. To me by your you <laughs> baba By your hand, oh, Baba. Emashewa, 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 Emashewa. Ma 
going out. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for this month. Thank you for last month. Thank you for next month. Thank you for all the month. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus precious name we worship him. I want to hear a louder seven hallelujah with the top of your voice. Make it better. the Lord a big, 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 big clap offering. I want another noise of hallelujah in the house. Make your voice louder and better. Shout with the top of your voice. Somebody 
jump on your feet, jump on your feet, jump on your feet, jump on your feet and shout hallelujah. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah and shout and shout as you shout, as you jump, your blessing are released this morning. Somebody shout, 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 and shout inside. Top of your enemy's head and cross your two legs and say, I'm in my father's house. First fruit as worship offering. Bring honor to God. Speaking on first fruit as worship offering. Malachi 1 and verse 6. He said that honor me. I will honor. Because a son honoreth his father. And a servant his master. If I be a father to you, where is my honor? So the question is, Lord, what do you want me to honor you with? Then he replied me through Solomon. In Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thy increase. And what is the first fruit? The first thing that come out of a man or a woman or from the year in the hand of man Remember, Jesus was the first fruit in Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Luke chapter 2 and in verse 21 down to 24. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, Jesus, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the day of our purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every maid that openeth the womb shall be called holy. Every maid that opened the womb of a woman shall be called holy unto the Lord and to be offered. So if you are a male that opened the womb of your mother, you did not belong to that family anymore. You have to give that child because it is written according to the law that every first maid, including Isaac, 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 belong to God now as a sacrifice. Chinedu belong to God now as a what? As a sacrifice. As a sacrifice. Obed belong to God now as a what? As a sacrifice. Can you put that please? And to be offered in verse 23, as it is written. In verse 23, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every may that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a what? A sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the law. And not just being given and a pair of tutor dove and two young pigeons. According to the law of Moses, that when you are coming for child dedication, 
thanksgiving, you don't come empty-handed. Something that has to do with blood must be laid on the altar. So if you are the first son of your father's house, you have to be donated. Your parents have to offer you. And if they have not offered you, ask them a question. Why? And if they did not give you good answer, go and offer yourself. That is why you see the difference between Mary and Elizabeth in John, I mean in Luke chapter 1 and verse 53 down to 58. He has filled the hungry with good tidings. When we start from 48 down to 58, and on the eighth day, that Anne, I mean Elizabeth was to be delivered. You know, when Elizabeth was pregnant, Mary visited her. Because the same angel gave two of them prophecy. But look, to Mary, she was on the road, not on the altar. But to Zachariah, he was on the altar, praying, seeking the face of God. The angel met with him on the altar. But Mary, the angel did not meet with her on the altar. But the one that did not receive prophecy from the altar still have the mindset of returning the child to the altar. So it is a very dangerous issue that people that God do bless don't use to return the glory back to God. And people that did not get it from the altar always bring it back to the altar. So every first thing is to be used as a sacrifice. Your first job is to be used as a sacrifice. Check every male first son of the family that is not being offered to God. Satan will destroy them. Because as long as you offer them unto God, you are telling God to preserve them. Remember the cause from the body of the woman? From the body of the man come together. The first blood, the first water. Everything in them joined together, produce a child. You don't know what the man have done before. You don't know what the woman have done before, before they both came together. And that is why in some certain family, you will never see a first child go up. Being male or female. Because... If they don't obey according to the law of bringing that first thing to the altar, their destiny will be jeopardized. But I promise to all the male child that opened the womb of their mother, in the name that is above other name, cause is a cancel out of your head. Let me hear a better amen, somebody. And when both of them had child together. Go to 58, Luke 1 and 58. They both had child together and never and a cousin ere how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her and they rejoiced with Elizabeth. In the name that is above all her name, this week, something that will make people to rejoice with you will happen in your life. If you want to say amen, receive it very well. Claim it with the top of your voice. If your amen is better, than to your neighbor, amen. Get the blessing in the name of Jesus. The cause in hell. So they came to rejoice with her. And they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day, they came to circumcise. Look at it. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise. But to Mary and Joseph brought the child to the altar to circumstance likewise. And they begin to argue on what to call the child. Some people are arguing with God on their first thing. So the family came, somebody will say, 
the thing where you did wait for since all this year, now you won't come give to God. That was what happened. And that is why you see, Elizabeth never lived to enjoy the fruit of her labor. John died in the house. But eventually, the child you've been waiting for for good 90 years. And you heard that a king has cut off his head in the prison. And the womb have closed. Anytime you lack appreciation, you give platform for closing door. For closing door. Because she will never have another one. But imagine Matthew 13 and verse 55. Matthew 13 and verse 55. Mary appreciate God. Then God gave her more six children. More. More. She was a virgin. No man has ever met her. But Elizabeth was not a virgin. She had husband. They've been together for 80, for 90 years. But look at Jesus, her brothers. It's not this the carpenter's son. And look at his brother. It's not this called Mary and his brothers. What's, what, what was their name? James, Joseph, and Simeon, and Judith. In verse 56. And his sister also. Jesus had sister. Sisters also. Are they not all with us? But there was no account of where the brother of John is. There was no account of where the sister of John is. Whatever that does not be given to God, that is not being given to God, can never multiply in life. When you dedicate all you have to God, God multiply it for man. When man dedicate all what he has to the hand of God, God multiply. Like the, you buy the first car, you refuse to dedicate the car. You build house, you refuse to dedicate the house. You just open company and you start employing people. No dedication. No, no, no dedication. No prayer. Nothing, nothing. And you start living like that. Attack may come at any time. The meaning of dedication is for God to preserve. So dedication speaks of preservation. Can I repeat? Dedication speaks of what? Preservation. Whatever you dedicate to the hand of God is preserved in the hand of God. Say, I dedicate my job to God. Say it louder than clear. Say, everything I have, I dedicate. And that is why when Solomon honor God, honor God, with all he has after the death of his father, in first king 13 i mean in first king 3 and in verse 13 god now look at him and say since you've honored me with sacrifice i will honor you with knowledge wisdom and understanding so god gave solomon honor of wisdom he said ask of me and i have also given thee that which thou hast not even asked both riches and what because if thou honor God, God will do what? And when God wants to honor a man, he honor a man, number one, with riches. He honor a man, number two, with knowledge, wisdom, understanding. He honor a man with every good thing that can make a man to be better than a man. Say, I'll be better than others. Say it louder than clear. Say it louder than clear. Say, I'll be better than others. And you see, in the life of Anna and Sarah also likewise. Anna brought a child to the altar. Laid the child down and said, Lord, you gave this child to me through prayer. That is why Anna said, for this child I prayed. For this Samuel I prayed. What God gave me from the altar, I returned it back to the altar. And you see in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 24 to 27. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 24 to 27. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her and with three bullocks and one ephan of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in, the, in Shiloh. 
and the child was young and this little bullock and brought the child to Ella and look at what happened and she said she said oh my lord as thy soul liveth, my lord I am the woman that stood by thee here pray unto the lord and look at what happened for this child i do what for this child any child that does not come through prayer that child cannot become anything for this child i pray and when i pray god answer me from this altar so i pray and the lord had given me my petition that I ask of him, so I brought him. So therefore, I lent this child to who? Take. So whatever you give to God is as a result of you borrowing God something. Anything you use and honor God, God does not need it. He will soon pay you back. It's like you put your money in the bank. We bank eat your money. Because when the time comes, you are in need of that money. What do you do? You go back to the bank and withdraw your money. So whatever you give to God, anytime you are in need of it, you can ask him back. Then he can give it to you through enemies. Say, God will give it to me back. So I lend this child to God. Please put that on the screen. I lend this child to God. As long as he lived, he must not depart. He shall be lent to the Lord. And he worship what? He must worship the Lord. First fruit as worship what? Offering. First fruit. So use your first fruit. Whether physically or spiritually. To honor God. So when you give out your first fruit to God, you are telling God, I'm learning you this thing. Because in this year, you must be in need. And anytime you are in need, as long as you call on him for what you learn to him, he will surely return it back to you. It's First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 5. After Anna had given Samuel to God, God returned back 5. So when you give to God, He wouldn't give to you what you gave to Him. He multiplied it times 2 plus 1. Times 2 plus 1. They that were full have hired out themselves to, for bread. And they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren had born Amenizah. Seven. So Anna had more seven. More seven. More seven. Because she learned that one to God. And she worshiped on the altar. After worshiping him, she returned. She returned. And while she returned back home, heaven opened. A woman of 80 years. Imagine miracle. A woman of 80 years. She gave birth to another one. People were surprised. She just born somewhere the other day. She born again. Imagine a woman of 80 years to 90 years. Let's say 90 years. According to Bible scholar. Let's say 90 years. Now, a woman of 90 years in this our generation. Born seven children. And not two is. One, 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 one. What will you say? So, old age does not stop God's miracle. What did I say? Old age does not what? Stop God's miracle. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your year. When God decides to bless you, no man, I see an open door for you. I just saw a door open up to you. Better claim it very well. And no wonder Sarah had nothing. Only Isaac. She had. But she never witnessed the wedding ceremony of Isaac. Say, God has made me laugh. Genesis 21 and verse 5. God has made me laugh and those that see me shall rejoice with me. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. Go on. And Sarah said, God has made me what? To love. To love. To love. It's not to just love alone, but make God to love too. 
God has made me to laugh and they that see it shall laugh with me also. And nothing else after that. No wonder when God came down to Abraham and said, take your only child to the mountain. Abraham never let his wife to be aware of it. Because if that woman was aware, problem will happen. Because the woman that God made to laugh, you now want to kill her laughter. There's going to be a problem in the house. Am I talking to somebody? Because the only thing that gives Anna, I mean, Sarah joy is Isaac. So sometimes the most precious things of a man's life is God's word is always demanded of. Just to test you, just to try you. All what we have come from him. And I give you two more, then we pray. And after we give our first thing of the year, what happened? God remember us for good. God remember us for what? For good. In Nehemiah 13 and verse 31. Nehemiah 13 and verse 31. And for the wood offering at the time appointed and for the first fruit, remember me, oh my God. For what? For good. For good. Because I came to your altar by doing good to you. So you must return back what I have for good. Psalm 20 and verse 3. Psalm 20 and verse 3. Remember all thy offering and accept thy what? Say God will remember me this year. And our first thing of the year that we bring to him, bring God blessing upon us. Say we bring blessing upon me. Can you say it louder and clear? Talk as a child of God, not as a big man. Can you stand on your feet and echo it very well? Good. Ezekiel 44 and verse 30. Ezekiel 44 and in verse 30. And the first of all, the first fruit of all things, and every oblations of every sort of your oblations shall be the priest. Ye shall also give it unto the priest the first of your door that he may cause thee a what? A blessing to rest upon where? Upon your house. So in the name that is above all that name, I declare blessing in everyone's house. I say in your house, I declare God blessing. I release 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 God blessing. I prophesy the blessing of God rest upon your house. You see Exodus 23 and verse 25. Exodus 23, 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And what will he do? He shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness. So this year, your first food terminates sickness. Say better, amen. Touch your heart and say, my first fruit terminates sickness. Say it louder than clear. My first fruit terminates sickness. So every first fruit of every house should be the breadwinner. Should be the head of the family table. But as long as they are not given to God, there will be the table. There will be under the table. You remember Lazarus? I was begging the rich man. I believe he, 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 he is the firstborn of the family. But they never dedicated him to God. No wonder he began to beg at a rich man table. And at the end of the day, he died. No achievement. No evangelism. He never win any soul. He never saved anybody. Only waiting for what we fall down from the table. And begin. Imagine a, a, that, that La, Lazarus. What they call What they call it? His account is not a good account. He didn't win just a soul. So whatever the big man eat, fall on the table, so him and dog will begin to drag on the ground. 
If dog say go, that's how we say war to. Give me, give me. So they both dragging food on the ground. On the ground. It will never be your portion. It, I'm not hearing a better amen. It will never be your family portion. May you never in your life eat under the table of a rich man. You will eat on top of the table. You will eat on top of the table. I prophesy to you. You shall not eat on that table. You will eat on top of the table. You will not be the tail. You shall be the head. Say a louder amen, somebody. Finally, number six and verse 23 down to 27. And speak unto Aaron and all his son, talking of blessing now. Say on this wise, ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee. I say unto you this year. Everybody be on your feet. I say unto you now, as a prophet of the living God, that in the name that is above other name, I disconnect myself, I connect to the altar of holy of holy. I stand on the solid rock of Christ and I prophesy to every house, every fear all over the world. You are watching from Namibia, from Ghana, in any country you are, in the name that is above other name, I declare to your house, I declare to your business, in the month of February, the Lord bless you. Let me hear a louder amen, people. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord make his face to shine upon your business. The Lord make his face to shine upon your marriage. The Lord make his face to shine upon your family. And the Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his curtain upon you. And the Lord will give you peace and rest. The Lord will give you peace and rest. The Lord will give you peace and rest. And the Lord will put his name upon your children. And the Lord bless you. I prophesy blessing. I prophesy blessing. I prophesy open door. You will never eat under the rich man table. You will eat on top of the table. Amen. Nothing stop you. Amen. Any attack from the pit of in the month of February, I divert it back to sender. Amen. The Lord keep you and guide you. Amen. All what He has promised you, the Lord fulfill it. Amen. I speak to your house, blessing, Amen. open door, favor, breakthrough. Amen. I hear this week, congratulations. Amen. The month of February, congratulations. The month of February, congratulations. Be blessed in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Where you've not been before, you shall get there. God bless you. Shalom. Clap your hands. Power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you